Salutations viewers and welcome back to my video gaming channel. My name is Gene and today you guys are here with me for the first episode of Let's Play Metro 2033 Redux. Guys, this is a great game set in a great franchise. I can't put it in any other way. Uh, for those of you who do know what this game is about, I'm not gonna add anything else because I do admit I'm not the greatest Metro fan. I don't know the lore perfectly, although I did read the original novel and I enjoyed it quite a bit. For those of you who don't know, uh, just a quick introduction, Metro 2033 is basically a survival shooter horror type of a hybrid game set in the post-apocalyptic uh, Moscow Metro. Uh, all of the, you know, events take place either in the Moscow Metro or on the uh, above radiated surface. Uh, the protagonist is a guy named Artyom who has to save his uh, home station from a very, very mysterious and a very seemingly dangerous threat. So without further introduction, guys, uh, what I do want to tell you is that this particular playthrough of mine isn't going to be on the hard difficulty or anything like that. I'm going to play just on the normal difficulty setting. Uh, maybe in the future I will try to make the hardcore uh, Ranger playthrough, like series of this game. But it depends on whether you guys will like this uh, easier walkthrough. I, I won't call it easier, it's just, you know, your standard playthrough. Anyway, let's choose the new game. Because uh, I'm taking a lot of time, just like always. Uh, we're gonna choose uh, survival. One second, I just, I just want to show you, like, is there... Okay, is the, is the introduction taking place before we choose the difficulty? I believe it does. So guys, before we do start playing the game, we're gonna take a look at the introduction cinematic, because this is very important. This kind of explains the whole situation. So let's take a look at this shit. I was born in Moscow. But I remember nothing of that time. I was just an infant when the old world was destroyed in the flames of nuclear fire. I, along with 40,000 others, were saved by retreating to the metro stations deep under the city. Now, 20 years have passed and going up into the embrace of an endless winter was left to a few brave souls. The metro was our home, and our fortress against the nightmarish mutants who roamed the tunnels. Still, we never gave up hope that we would return to the surface. But one day, a new threat appeared, and we found ourselves in a war to determine the very existence of our species. So as you can see, this is the threat that I was uh, referring to in my introduction. And now we have seen the cinematic introduction, so we can begin playing the game. We're gonna choose the new game. We're gonna choose survival mode instead of Spartan. With ammo and filters in short supply, deadlier combat and more challenging stealth, survival style offers players the original survival horror-oriented experience of Metro 2033 with an emphasis on resource management and tense combat. So I believe that I have passed this game and Last Light both by playing on Spartan, which is basically more like... It's a more of a shooter type of a 
playstyle where you have more bullets, all that stuff. But for this playthrough, we're gonna choose survival because I believe this is the way you were intended to play. So let's choose survival mode and we're gonna choose normal uh, difficulty setting. Um, like I've said, maybe in the future I'll make some other shit like Ranger or Ranger Hardcore, I don't know. So, okay, let's do this. And I don't know if there's any more introductions, but let's just click enter. Yeah, yeah, I wanna fucking reset it. Obviously, yeah, gamma correction. The tunnel grew colder. Miller and I were close to the surface now. Soon, we would climb up into the howling wind to fight our way through whatever nightmares were waiting there. My long journey was nearly at the end. But would I have the courage, the will to see it through? Who knows, comrade? Maybe you don't. Anyway. Hey, Artyom. When you left your home station, did you ever think we'll end up in a place like this? Not knowing whether we were about to save our world or send it straight to hell. Well, one thing I do know, I didn't think I would be climbing underneath of your smelly fucking ass on this fucking ladder. Oh shit, this guy saved me. We'll have to get through the military outpost to reach the surface, Artyom. So I can tell you that's a steep fucking fall. Somebody's moving in the next room. Alright, so... This is one hell of an introduction we have. There's something behind that fucking door. Let's do this, let's... See what we have in this room. The introduction is definitely uh, quite epic. But, like I've said, this is a very good Open game. Open the door. I'll cover you. Uh, made with high quality. Just like, this is a high quality main game, in my opinion. We have some old computers here. Let's turn on the flashlight. Let's, let's just close this door behind us, so no mutants come after us. Alright, we have a new note. Let's read this shit. So, in the, like... During the course of your playthrough in Metro 2033 Redux, Last Light, if I recall correctly, Exodus as well, we're gonna encounter notes where we are going to see insights into the, you know, into the lore, into the world of Metro 2033. So note number one, there is nobody among the Order's fighters who'd ever lived at the exhibition. Why would they risk? their lives to save us, total strangers to them. What for? Perhaps they, just as I do, believe that the Dark Ones are a threat not for just our god-forgotten backwater station, but for the Metro as a whole? Uh, that I don't know, but one thing I know for sure, I can't watch these people and not feel admiration. They couldn't care less which station we hailed from, which god and which politics we believed. The one thing they actually cared about was that we were human beings and we were in danger. When joining the Order, one vows to protect the Metro and the last refuge of human race to the end. Some of them believe they can prevail. A lot more think we're all doomed regardless, but they don't even think of laying down their arms and giving up the struggle. Such were Hunter's comrades, and it would be the highest honor for me to become one of them. Alright, so, we can finally open the door and be on our way. Shit is always breaking down in here. Use the auxiliary hand system to open the gate. Alright, put some muscle into the shit. Well, whatever or whoever was behind this door isn't here anymore. Artyom, check those crates for ammo and med packs. Okay, there's... I don't think there's anything else here. In this relatively small room. Let's turn on the fucking electrical switches. Not all of them seem to be operational anymore. Let's fucking burn the cobwebs. 
if I recall correctly, I don't know, was this Metro Exodus or this game or Last Light, but if you have the Steam version of the game, you're actually gonna get achievements for fucking uh, uh, burning the cobwebs. If you burn enough, you're gonna get like a special achievement. Ready, Artyom? Follow me. Okay, let's take all this crap. Well, I wouldn't actually, I wouldn't call it crap in this game. I'm wrong because uh, you're gonna need the bullets. This isn't like one of those games where bullets are just, you know, all over the place, especially from what I understand on survival mode. No way. So you're gonna need to conserve ammo. And the gas mask filters. Okay. Up we go. The flashlight, I already have it turned on. Mm -hmm. Seems like nobody's home. Before we deserve And G, gas mask, let's put the shit on. We're almost there. This is the Torolev performance room. It's yours. Oh, we can see that shadow of a mutant above. Oh, fuck. Where did I go? As you can see, the mutants are pretty damn fucking big in this game. And these aren't even the biggest ones. One more. Okay, I think he's out. That fucking uh, mistake of nature is no longer breathing. Oh fuck, was that a bat I just ran into? Okay, let's see what we have here. We have some more filters. Hold your horses, fuck man. Let me grab some ammo. Oh, I, I have to charge my light. Yo, look at the size of these bugs, man. Humongous. Okay, quickly tap. Obviously. Come on. Let's move out. I don't think I need the flashlight here. Outside. How much ammo I have? Can I see? I guess I can. Move it. You're coming through loud and clear. Over. I always thought that if you hold down the R key, you can check your ammo. Well, that's affirmative. We've made contact. We should be in the vicinity of the tower now. Over. Roger, we'll contact you again when we're at the top of the tower. Get a fix of our location then. Over. So there's the Astankina TV tower. Oh, I have to... I gotta switch my filter. So this is a TV tower, from the best of my knowledge. And this thing is really, really fucking tall. Oh, fuck! What kind of rangers are these guys? They almost drove me the fuck over. You gotta be more careful. Glad to see you, Colonel. Yeah, I'm not glad to see you. If a fucking colonel wouldn't save my ass, you would have broke my spine with that fucking car. Right, sir. I believe we have a mutant migration here. Oh, this doesn't look good at all. I wouldn't say that. I remember the library. I'm not gonna spoil it now, but the library is pretty much one of the most hated moments in the game. Yeah, I'm almost out of ammo at this point. Oh, fuck. Oh shit! Okay, 
Okay, med kit, med kit. Holy crap. We're being overrun here. Oh, and then these bitches coming from the sky? This looks like it's the end of Artyom. Is this the end of Artyom? Right in the introduction. Seemingly so. Apparently so. Or is it? Life was never easy in the Eight tunnels, days earlier. But it was our home. There was comfort in its routines, in seeing the same people day after day. But since the mutant attacks had escalated, fear ruled the station. I had just turned 20, and could never have imagined what would follow on the morning that my stepfather's friend, Hunter, arrived at the barricade. Nothing good happened on that morning, I can tell you for sure. I can tell you for sure that that morning was fucked up. Anyway, guys, this episode, this is the first episode. This was just an introduction, so it's a relatively short episode. But in the second episode, we're going to be playing this chapter called Eight Days Earlier or whatever. I don't know if that's the name. That just might be the description of the mission. But anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed the first episode of me playing Metro 2033 redux uh i will see you soon guys in the next episode most likely i'm gonna rewind the whole introduction here so you can see it in the second episode anyway until then take care and stay safe Backup hunter.